What's going on YouTube? This is yours truly, Dre the Plug, coming at you live with some more technical heat. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button below. Make sure y'all hit that bell button below so y'all can stay notified every single time I drop new technical heat. But let's get back into these interviews. Roll the clip. Hi everybody, my name is Clara B. I'm a cybersecurity engineer. I've been an engineer for four years and I'm self-taught. I'm Latina and Black. Okay, Clara, so what made you specifically choose this field, cybersecurity? So the field kind of chose me. Um, my mother's been asking me to get into cybersecurity um, and IT for a very long time. She said I'm a problem solver. So um, after years of not listening to her, uh, one day I decided to Google how do I get into this field. And I found that a lot of people were looking for software engineers. So I decided to teach myself how to program in Python and Java. And uh, those two languages got me through the door. What do you feel is the biggest benefit when it comes down to being in cybersecurity? So the biggest benefit aside from the pay is um, being able to help my friends and family in cybersecurity. I want to help them understand things about systems that they just aren't looking for, they might not know. Uh, for example, you know, keeping their Bluetooth off or how to spot a suspicious email, what do they do with links um, that they're unfamiliar with, things like that. Okay, so what's something that you did not expect jumping into being in cybersecurity? So one thing that was news to me, when I first joined this, uh, this field, I didn't see a lot of people who looked like me. Um, once I started getting a little more uh, comfortable on social media, talking about cybersecurity, I started to um, I started to learn about more people who are who are black and brown in this in this industry. Um, they've taught me a lot, and just the sense of community to me was was shocking. I didn't expect that at first, so that's been super helpful for me in this field. So I'm writing a book, um, and I named it "The Broke Self Taught Learner's Guide to Cybersecurity." And the reason why I'm doing that is because um, I, I get DMs every day um, about people saying, hey, I really want to get into the field or um, I'm thinking about going to school or how should I get into the field or I want to make a career change. Um, I don't have all the answers, but I think what I can do and what I can provide for the community is the way that I did it. Um, a lot of people on Instagram have really good books on how to get into the field. Um, and anybody in this field knows how expensive these certifications can be. Um, I didn't take that route because I didn't have the money. Um, I, di I didn't go to college. Um, I had no choice. If I wanted to be successful, I had no choice but to do it with free resources. So. The point that I want to make is um, in this book is here are all the resources that I use, plus some more that I learned about after I got into the field. And I just want to put it in one place so that other people can be successful as well. So how did you get a tech job without even getting a technical degree or really not even having a degree at all? So when I decided to learn how to program, I, um, I taught myself for one full year. Um, after that year, I put all the projects on my resume that I had, all, all the projects that I had worked on on my resume. And after that, I, I spammed my resume all around the DMV area. I was just looking for a tech job, anybody that can give me an opportunity at that point. Um, the job that I have now, they called me in for an interview, um, but they were like, yeah, you're not qualified to be a reverse engineer. So um, we have this office manager position available and we only have it for part-time. So I would literally work four hours a day and I would clock out and then I would go sit next to the guys and learn technical things, you know, whatever they were working on. And I did that for about four months. And uh, next thing I knew they were putting me on certain projects and I just learned little by little. Um, less than a year, they had taken me off of that office manager role and gave me a more technical role, um, which is where I am now, so. So if there's one thing that you would like the viewer to take away from this interview, if they didn't take anything else, what would you like for them to take from you? Um, so I just really want to let people know that it really doesn't matter what journey you take. Um, like I mentioned before, I didn't have the resources and I, I just felt like I didn't have a lot of help. Um, so I just, I made a way for myself and, and, and taught myself. And a lot of people don't enter the field that way, but it really doesn't matter what the journey is make your own path. And um, there's a lot of people online, a lot of resources that are uh, that, that are here to help. So 
Um, if nobody takes anything else, I would just say be a self-starter, be self-motivating and, um, and be successful that way. And that concludes this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It really do help my channel when it comes down to the YouTube algorithm. If you guys have any questions regarding anything, just hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on the gram at Dre the Plug, one, two, three. And then also go check out my other YouTube channel. This is actually my second channel. My first one was called Andre Classic Cuts. I basically go in and give tutorials about all types of different haircuts. I actually show people how to do different type of things with the clippers that has never been done. And I pretty much go into detail as to why certain things happen. So definitely go check out that channel. Besides that, be on the lookout for my next content that's dropped and be on the lookout for it because it's coming real soon. And I'm out.